in the year 800, the Emperor Charlemagne decided to drive the Saracens out of southern France. And so he raised his army and marched on their capital city of Carcassonne. The Saracen king, Balak, had named the city after his wife, the Lady Carcass. When Charlemagne first came over the hill and laid eyes on the city of Carcassonne, what he saw was an entire town built on an island in the middle of a river. Two full sets of castle walls completely surrounded the entire town. One bridge across. Charlemagne knew that there was no way his men could storm that castle, and so he had them surround the city and lay siege to starve the Saracens out. Five years, Charlemagne seized the city of Carcassonne until everyone in it was dead. Everyone except the Lady Carcass and four serving maids. They had their own separate food supply. The Lady Carcass called her serving maids, Go out through the town. Gather every suit of armor that you can find. Mount them all along the outside wall of the castle. The women did. Then they spent their days randomly firing arrows up and over the wall, so that Charlemagne would think that the city was still held by warriors. That worked for about six months, until even their food supply began to run low. And so again she called her serving maids, Now, go out through the town, bring me every scrap of food that you can find. The women poured through the empty streets, gathered what they could, and brought it all to the royal kitchen. When the Lady Carcass came to take stock, what she had was one live pig, a barrel of barley, a bucket of sugar, a case of fine French wine and some wild herbs that had been growing in the abandoned gardens. To that, she added a box of rare spices, clove and nutmeg, cinnamon and ginger, spices so rare they weren't even thought of as food. They were considered money. Money's useless when you've starved to death, and so she placed it on the pile. They took that pig, and they roasted it up. They used the barley and the wild herbs to make a stuffing for it. They took the sugar, the wine, and the rare spices and blended it into a candied glaze that they baked the pig with. When it was done, they placed it on a great silver tray that had been made for just that purpose in better times. The Lady Carcass told her serving maids, Bring the pig down to the front gate. She went ahead, blew the trumpet, and brought forth Charlemagne's ambassador. Tell the emperor that the Lady Carcass wishes to speak with him. When Charlemagne heard the news, he was thrilled. Five years is a huge siege. He was almost out of food himself. Oh, thank God. Old Balak must have finally starved to death and the Lady Carcass wants to surrender. I'll be generous. I won't have her killed. I'll just throw her in jail for the rest of her life so that everyone will know what a kind and gentle man I am. Charlemagne and his advisors worked their way through the army. The Lady Carcass's serving maids brought the pig through the town. When Charlemagne approached that one bridge across, the Lady Carcass told her serving maids, Place the pig in the bowl of the catapult that defends that bridge. As Charlemagne rode across, the Lady Carcass drew her husband's sword, cut the rope on the catapult, and launched the pig up and over the wall, where it landed in front of Charlemagne and exploded in a huge ball of... Glaze pork and barley stuffing. 
Charlemagne picked little bits of pig goo off of his clothes. It was heavenly. He began gobbling little bits of it. And then he stopped. Charlemagne realized that he had lost the war. He knew that they still had so much food in that castle that they could take a meal better than he himself had eaten in five years. And they could throw it away just to tease him with it. He ordered his men, put up stakes. The siege of Carcassonne is lifted. And the city remained in the hands of the Lady Carcass and four serving maids. The Siege of Carcassonne, a French legend.